Go with me on this. Close your eyes for like five seconds. That's all it takes, just five seconds. Close your eyes and imagine yourself crossing the finish line of your goal race or running your dream distance. For me, I'm imagining myself crossing the finish line of the Great Wall of China Marathon and it feels good. And all you need to do now is share that dream race or that dream distance in the comments because the science says that you are far, far more likely to achieve those goals if you have written down your intention. And by the way, if your dreams don't scare you, they're probably not big enough. The fact is that doubt kills more dreams than physical capacity or potential ever has. And all you need to do to start the process of fulfilling your dreams in exercise, whether it be running or triathlon, is click the subscribe button to this channel. And I'll, I'll happily wait. Just, I mean, just click it. How long is, how long is comfortable to wait? Okay, well, I'm assuming that you've done it. Let's get started. Now, if you had have told me all those years ago that I would have run a sub three hour marathon, that I would represent Team GB in my age group at middle distance triathlon, or that I would have completed an iron distance race, I would have thrown my beef burger at you. And if you'd have told Mary, even in 2018, that she would run an ultra marathon in 2021, she would have probably spat on your back. That is, she definitely wouldn't have done that. She is too nice. I don't know why I, I'm sorry, forget that. But she wouldn't have believed you. So why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because this channel is absolutely dedicated to seeing you fulfill your potential. We have the knowledge, the experience, and the expertise to get you from where you are to where you want to go. It's as simple as that. I want to empty my brain of all of my coaching knowledge, and I want you to be able to eventually be your own coach. And I've competed in 5Ks to ultra marathons and super sprint triathlons to iron distance triathlons and everything in between. And I've made a lot of mistakes, which is why I want to help you not make the same ones. In fact, the most popular videos on this channel by a mile are the free training plans for all distances but we're gonna take it one step further. You see, we have found a race. In nine weeks time, Mary's found a 10K to do, I've found a half marathon to do, and they are in the same place. So what we're going to do is we're gonna give you a real-time follow-along nine-week program for 10K half marathon, but can be adapted for any distance. And each week, we're gonna share with you all of our sessions, all of the things that we do around the sessions, our mental approach, our thoughts as we're doing it, how we adapt to maybe busy work or injury, everything, every Wednesday for the next nine weeks. This is essentially my ultimate beginner to marathon training plan that I put out last year, just played out in real time, you watching it, following along with us as your guides. So if you're ready, let's talk about week one of nine, which I like to call prep and structure week. So before we dive into the specifics of week one and all of the training that we got up to, let me share with you exactly what you can expect from every week in videos. And the first thing is that we're gonna share with you every single training session that we have done on YouTube and Strava so that you can take it and copy it and use it. But more than that, we're gonna give you the tools that you're gonna to need to adapt the session for your distance or your ability. But crucially, if there is anything that we haven't explained as well as you'd want, or you have any extra questions to help with your understanding, we're gonna spend all of our time in the comments section answering anything you need to know. It is as simple as that. Now, the non-negotiables. And the one thing I would do after every single run session that we do is a good stretch. And I know, I know, we can debate how effective stretching actually is until the cows come home, but I am a great believer that if you believe it works, it works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link you my own personal stretching routine here so that you can watch it and decide which stretches you like the look of or whether you wanna adapt it to suit your own needs but I'm always gonna stretch after the run. I think probably it's more psychological than anything. But you wanna know about structure. How am I structuring every week? 
And what about structure? Well, first of all, we're building a relationship for life. It's as simple as that. Running every day or even more than four days a week isn't long-term sustainable for us. In fact, as a rule, I don't like running consecutive days, but then again, I am a triathlete. So the options we have are an undulating plan, which in essence is running every other day. So in one week, it's three runs and the next is four. Or we can consistently run four times per week on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturday and Sunday. But the Saturday run will always be a recovery run easy. And as it happens, we've opted for four runs per week plus swims because, like I said before, I'm a triathlete, but I don't have my bike yet. Tuesdays are generally going to be track intervals. We're not sure about Thursdays yet. We might see how it goes each week. The Saturday is going to be an easy recovery run and Sunday is going to be our long run. And now that we know our weekly structure, we plan our overall structure. And if you follow the channel, then you'll know I work in blocks of four, which is three weeks of progressively harder training and one week of recovery. And with nine weeks, we can work with three weeks, then one week recovery, three more weeks of work, then a two week taper. Beautiful. So now you know how our weeks are going to be set out and how our overall plan looks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you into the first week of our training. And by the way, let me just be honest, straight up front, it was not four runs, it was three because we A, hadn't found the race that we wanted to do yet and B, we wanted to ease our way back into proper structure. So I'm going to share with you Mary's week. I'm going to look at it on my phone. I'm going to talk you through the sessions. And for some of these sessions, there were individual videos made about them, which I will link up here so that you can go into more detail. So Mary's plan. Let's have a look. Fresh. So Mary did run Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday, but we didn't do two runs at the weekend because as I say, we were just easing into it. Now, now if you look here, Mary did 400 meter repeats on the track on Tuesday and there is an individual video for that that I'll link here. but. In essence, we both did it. We ran seven sets of 400 meters at just below our 5K goal pace with a good warm up and cool down, but my hamstring nearly blew up. So that's why I'm gonna change it moving forwards and because I'm training for a half marathon and Mary's training for faster 10K. But it was a lovely little session. Now on Thursday, as you can see, Mary just did an easy 5K, just again to start working on the structure. We hadn't gone into detail of what we're gonna do yet. We hadn't decided whether that was gonna be a tempo day or an easy day, but Mary took it easy and again, factored in a 10 minute stretch. And then when you get to the weekend, that was when we did our long run in Benjakitti Park and Lumpini Park, and that was really nice. And although it says 8.4 kilometers there, Mary's watch died, and it was actually closer to 11 kilometers. And if you're training for a 10K, there's absolutely no need, if it's your first 10K, to do that kind of distance, but it's not Mary's first 10K or indeed half marathon, so she can go above it quite comfortably. But I recommend if it's your first 10K, then you wanna be maybe thinking about five to six kilometers at this stage in the program. And what isn't on the training program that Mary did do is some swims. And it's not there because for some reason the Vivo Active doesn't seem to have a swim function. Need to look into that a little bit more. But there was swimming throughout the week for Mary last week as well, and myself. Now something very important to finish the video, these plans that we are doing, we are pretty experienced runners now. So we're able to go above the distances that we are training for um, comfortably and safely. That might not be the case if this is your first time through, if it's your first 10K or your first half marathon, marathon or 5K. What you wanna do is be conservative and build. What you're essentially trying to do is build a relationship for life, not just this one training plan block. This is the start of your journey, it's not the end. So when I, for example, run 20 kilometers on a long run and I'm training for a half marathon, you may want to run in your first couple of weeks somewhere in the region of 
10, 11 kilometers, and you already want to be running quite consistently eight to 12 kilometers a few times a week if you want to embark on a good half marathon training program. And likewise, if this is your first 10K, you don't need to go very much over nine kilometers as your longest run before your 10K. Honestly, your body's got it on the day, so really focus on building in the consistency rather than blowing yourself out by doing runs over the distance, again, if it's your first time round. But as I said earlier, just ask questions in the comments. If there's anything that we haven't made clear, ask and I will answer it for you. That's what we're here for. I'm a coach and I want to help you. And if you're wondering where strength and conditioning is in all this, then let me reassure you, we are doing it. It is absolutely crucial to not avoid. But instead of having set sessions where we do it for longer periods every few days, we try and do maybe five to 10 minutes regularly every day and I will link you a routine that we follow up here so that you can follow along as well and it's just more consistency and easier to manage within the day rather than one big chunk so all that's left to do is get started right we want you to come on the journey with us we're going to go on this journey and whether you're watching it in real time as in when we're training for it or months or years down the line it doesn't matter this content is here to help you achieve and fulfill your goals and set you on a path and a journey for life that's it that's what we're passionate about. So you just got to get after it now. I need to come up with a, I do need to come up with a phrase like Ben Parks is getting it done or there's quite a few people that have a, let's get amongst it. I do like get amongst it. I'll see you Sunday. <laughs>